This is where it all begins. The plan is set. The work has begun. This isn't the future. This is now. No time for talking. It's time for doing. Pops a three. Good. These aren't your casual fans. These are Rutgers fans. People who stand by these leaders, who believe in these players, this community, this university. This is not just any basketball program. This is Rutgers basketball. No screen, Baker, step back. so appreciative and so deferential in the right way to see Vivian Stringer and the work she's done with the team this season but he has also said when she's gone it's like the mom's away for a little bit and you want to make her proud. We're committed to each other. There's nothing we won't do for each other. We know that we will always look after each other. <laughs> Ask Coach Damone to come because I'd only coached her for a year, right? Uh, but while she had been asked to go to many places, um, she was anxious to come here. Uh, I think that was a feeling with, 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 with Coach Yonkman, uh, though she wasn't a player, but she was a person that came right at the beginning. But you have got to be team, team, team. And again, I'm really proud of all of you. All right, really nice right. job. Wait, and I'll see, see you tonight. Yeah. Michelle Edwards, who is the director of Basketball Ops. Basketball, she was National Player of the Year. Brian, I mean, he, he, he's involved in so many things. His talents are, are, are far exceeding, you know, with, with Coach Eatman. He, he, he was there, you know, I, I chose him a long time ago when he was at Iowa, extremely proud. You know, and uh, at the end of the day, um, I know that he too would lay down his life for the success of this program. Tim Eatman sees his team with a nice effort tonight. They win for Coach Stringer, they win for the seniors tonight, 60 to 54, and Rutgers has clinched the double bye at the Big Ten tournament. People that I can trust around me, because I know that it's not always going to be smooth sailing. But I need to know that when the road gets rough, you know, these people that have been there, they, don't worry, coach, we got your back. And we're there, you know, and, and that makes all the difference in the world. Your local New Jersey Audi dealers experience the 2019 Q5 SUV. Take a test drive today. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the official health insurance partner of the Scarlet Knights. lot of kids out there that needed some help so we wanted to come out and just help them and just show a friendly face. It was all joy, everyone was really happy so it was good. It was a great experience getting to meet some of the freshmen so they could um, see us on campus, notice us and come out to our games and support. We just want to show a friendly face, show that we're visible on campus. People can be comfortable coming up to us, talking to us, you know, we talked to a lot of people today. When they see us on the court, they won't be like, oh, well, we never seen him before. Well, they'll feel like they've met us before so they'll feel like, yeah, they'll cheer for us more. We have their back just like how they have ours um, when we're playing. The message that I think that we said today was like we all here at Rutgers, we all got open hands to everybody and we made them feel welcome. Giving back to the community and community service is extremely important. We as players and coaches are uh, somewhat recognized figures on campus and in the community. And I think it's important to get out and show them that you know they're just normal guys who just want to 
be able to give back to the community and help out and, and you know, make the world a better place. It's just important to get the guys some perspective on life and, you know, they got it pretty good uh, here at Rutgers uh, playing Division One basketball and we want to, you know, make sure, you know, they give back to, to those less fortunate than them. In the development of players too, it's not just all about jump shots and ball handling and rebounding skills. I think we try to develop them, you know, in a lot of different ways. Part of that is, you know, to show them how, how lucky they are. When they're having a bad day, some, you know, they got to think of how fortunate that they are. Uh, giving back to the community is very important to me. The community is, they come to all our games, and you know, it's only right for us to give back in any way possible. And here at Rutgers, they make sure community service is a big thing. I always want to make sure that I'm doing the right things, uh, you know, giving back to the community. I think that's a really important thing to do. I mean, the fans come and support us all, every, uh, all the time for our games, and it's just important for us to give something back to the community. At the end of the day, we're all the same, and, and we, we all have to have each other's backs to make an, a great environment. You know, just giving back to the people here. You know, uh, Rutgers have been through a lot of tough times. You know, that's the reality. Uh, and now it's time for, you know, them, you know, just for us to give back and, and see the people here. You know, the one thing I'm going to always say about Rutgers fans, they stick with you through thick and thin. So, you know, you have to give back to them. You have to show them that you're appreciative of what they've done. I think it's a big part in developing, you know, well-rounded people, people that are appreciative, thankful and humble, and that's all part of our, you know, our daily journey here as, as, as we have these players for four years and we're trying to, you know, get them to improve in every area and become more well-rounded in every area and to become, um, you know, community service givers. In the stretch drive of the Big Ten regular season, the Rutgers men were looking to finish strongly and quietly, unassumingly, and without fanfare, earn a first round bye in the conference tournament. And they were ready to battle a Minnesota team at the rack. He's got somewhere to do with it. Keeps fighting, keeps fighting, and puts it in to beat the buzzer. Knocks in the three. McConnell on the drive. Off the glass and in. Four point advantage, Rutgers. Johnson backing down. Curry goes to the hook shot. Back to the left. On oh, the He's shown the left and the right. Got a tool on him. Into the corner. Mathis the triple. Big time. Big, big, big time. Baker on the drive. Kalser trailing. Baker in clutch situation ties it up. And he's got Kalser on him playing with four fouls. The step back. The three. Clutch. Rutgers defends home court and knocks off Minnesota 68 to 64. wins for the Scarlet Knights and after they've been oh so close they get Minnesota at home after coming from behind to defeat the Golden Gophers at home coach Steve Peichel's team took to the road to meet an Iowa team which had stunned them at the rack with some late game magic there's no question the word revenge was on their minds going in and the word stunner was on everyone's lips coming out. Rutgers expects to be spirited as well. They were very spirited after that loss to Iowa. Geo Baker said right afterwards, we're going to go out there and get them. They've been trying to back that up with good practices this week. It's already with four turnovers in this game. As Harper hits his second three. Rod Harper junior over for the Hawkeyes, number five in this first half. Harper up the floor, drives past Bohannon to the rim. It's Mathis all alone for the two-hand flush. I tell you what, the Rutgers perimeter defense has been stellar this evening. Back to Mathis, the jump pass to Harper with the reverse. He's got 21. You're on the road against a very talented team on senior night. 
I'm telling you, Kevin, I, I can't say enough about Rutgers. That's, that is not easy to do to come in a hostile environment on senior night and do what they did today. And a giant win I'm for the saying. Rutgers Scarlet Knights on the road, Stephen. Oh. Two ranked league wins for Rutgers for the first time since they beat Villanova and Pitt in the Big East Conference. Steve Peichel making a statement in Iowa City tonight. We're proud of men. <laughs> The Scarlet Knights welcomed the Penn State Nittany Lions to town for senior night, and it was a great opportunity to give graduate student Shaq Dorson a much-deserved send-off. That means a lot. Look, all the fans already here early. It's going to be a long year, five years. It's been a long time, but really appreciate it. Thank you, Rutgers. The Scarlet Knights were valiant in defeat. They overcame a 20-point deficit to get within one point of Penn State late in the second half, but just could not convert with time winding down. Once again, it showed that this Rutgers team is never out of a game and will never quit. There's no question that this Rutgers team showed Scarlet Nation and the collegiate basketball world that a new era has begun on the banks. Geo Baker is going to operate. Get back! Get it! Big shot, Baker! Three-point game! It was a year of tremendous improvement. The young squad believed in the coaching staff and themselves. No more fouling. Rutgers is going to walk off the floor here at the rack with a well-earned victory here tonight. There's a reason no one in the Big Ten likes to come to the rack and play the Rutgers Scarlet Knights in here. So they had to Peter Kiss. Kiss to the rim. Stop. Great win for Rutgers. Goodness gracious, this is a team that continues to grow. Steve Michael doing a fantastic job with this program. They were accountable from the get-go. They doubled their win total in conference play from a year ago. They proved they could finish the deal on the road. And most importantly, they showed that the future is bright. One more regular season game at Indiana, and then it's on to the Big Ten tournament. With this team, anything is possible, including more compelling theater. It's a great win. Hey, hey we don't stop here. You could beat anybody. We could beat anybody. We just proved that best, one of the best teams. We, we took care of business. Right. Awesome job, man. Yes, Proud sir. of you guys. Yes, hey, Gio, what do you got, Gio? Hey, family on three. One, two, two, three, family. family. Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the official health insurance partner of the Scarlet Knights. <laughs> Nissan, proud partner of college athletics, innovation that excites. RWJ Barnabas Health, the official health care partner of Rutgers Athletics. Let's be healthy together. With the regular season winding down, Rutgers was on a mission. The Scarlet Knights fighting to close the campaign with momentum and earn a double bye for the Big Ten tournament. It started with a home game against Wisconsin. Three games to go in the regular season. Rutgers has taken care of business all season long at home. They want to make sure that stays the same through the end of the slate. Orella Garantes pulls up for the jumper and hits. So Rutgers off to a sparkling start, and the Scarlet Knights lead it 4-0. Rutgers led by six at the end of one and by 17 at the half. With Tim Eatman filling in for Coach Stringer, the Scarlet Knights never looked back. Inside, Wallace, double teamed, outside Calhoun, Mack open for three! Takia Mack drills a three-pointer. But Rutgers forced 14 turnovers, got 18 of their 40 points, almost half from those 14 turnovers. And so Rutgers will try to continue that with a 55 press. Jump shot off the back rim, doesn't go. Ball knocked around, picked up by Rutgers. Harris up ahead to Mack. Takia Mack ahead of the field, lays it up and in. The energy that you brought, the effort that you play with, coach would have been so proud of you. 
I know she would be so proud of you for the way you play. I'm so proud of our effort. We moved the basketball, we shared the basketball, everybody played. We had great faces. Yeah, yeah. Great faces tonight, that was awesome. Good eye work, but I'm just saying, we can do special things, but we all gotta do it together. Yep. And we all gotta, this journey is okay. This journey's fine. As long as we decide where we're trying to go and when we want to get there, it's what we got to do. We can't keep talking about it. We got to be about it, okay? Yes. Yeah, I'm so proud of you. Team on three, family on six, one, two, three, four, five, six, family. Next up, Minnesota at home on senior night. Rutgers pay tribute to their super senior class. Sierra Calhoun, Stacia Carey, Sharice Wilson, and Vicki Harris. Their families join in the wonderful celebration. What a season they've had. They've been interesting. They've been up, up and down, and, and at times I don't think they look like they're playing that well. They make it look sloppy, and then they come out with wins, and they do it their way, and this is an impressive win. Their second half was tremendous. Not only did they lock them down, but they had some players step up on the offensive end. They win for Coach Stringer. They win for the seniors tonight, 60 to 54, and Rutgers has clinched the double bye in the Big Ten tournament. So after clinching the number three seed for the Big Ten tournament and securing the double bye, are you travel to Columbus for a little payback? And Rutgers is fired up. You're starting to see that energy and excitement. That, that is what I was expecting to see from Rutgers. Typically, it comes out of them keeping 55 alive. Right back in it. The one thing you can say about those Scarlet Knights, they don't let up. They've got a chance to get a 13th conference win here today. And this is what they've done at, as far as regular seasons go since joining the Big Ten. So this clearly the best and the highest seed that they'll have as well. The lead was as large as 16 for Ohio State late in the first quarter. And Rutgers has just stormed back in this one on the road. And they did it with some of the best aggressive defense. A huge comeback win for Rutgers, which will be the three seed and 13 Big Ten wins. Tim Eatman and his staff get the job done, and that's it from Columbus. That's what it's all about. If you keep staying with it, keep believing in each other, keep grinding it, yep. keep grinding it, we're gonna be just fine. Yep. We got enough in this room mm -hmm. to do marvelous stuff, you all. Yep. We got enough yeah. right in here, but everybody's gotta stay great from here up. Mm -hmm. From here up, that's what it's all about. We, we all right down here, but we gotta stay so tough, man. They have stayed mentally tough, and they have come together in the face of adversity. Coach C. Vivian Stringer laid the foundation, and now Tim Eatman and the rest of the coaching staff have carried the torch. This team has a special bond and a unique camaraderie. It shows on the court. It shows off the court with a sisterhood that is beautiful. No wonder why this group has enjoyed their best Big Ten season to date with more to come. We've got to play three straight games. Oh, yep, Jesus. Yep. Everybody got to bring it in order for us to play three games. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of us got to get this done if we want to win a championship. Yep, All right, sir. so we can win one yes. if we stay mentally tough. Mm -hmm. You understand that? Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? We can win one if we stay we mentally, mentally tough. tough. Yeah, yeah. Tough. Great job, everybody. Yeah. Great win, great win. Good job, Zapora Protest. Yes. Zapora, 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 Basketball started for me about five years ago, five, six years ago, back home in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Uh, I used to play soccer at first, but then I realized basketball was my, was my, was my love, so I did. Basket, but Dorson sends it into the media members. 
back home, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about going to any university or anything. I was playing basketball, and I just got, I just got better and better, and eventually I got here, so I'm, I'm happy. Uh, when I got here, I just felt like a family. The moment I got here, they told me, yo, you got, you got to come here. You're like family, you're like a brother to us. Uh, I just felt like a family bond from the beginning, and we just try to have that right now, too. He, he's on, he's on. <laughs> Dorson reaching up to get that one with authority. We got the loudest fans in the, in the whole Big Ten. I love, the, I love the New Jersey fans. They get loud, they get into it. And, and we try to give them uh, something to get into, too, so. Even the fans are loud, but the ride squad, they're even louder, man. They're early, they're loud, they're always there. And I love the ride squad. I appreciate them for coming every game. Big man Shaq Dorson. Playing for a step with this compass is really good. It means that everything they say, you got to listen. You got to have your eyes, uh, eyes and ears open to get uh, as good as you want to be. They give you all the tools to be as great as you want to be, and you just have to take advantage of it. It's gonna be a long year, five years. It's been a long time, but really appreciate it. Thank y'all, Rutgers. I just want to thank y'all for the amazing five years that I had here at Rutgers, and I just really appreciate y'all, all of y'all.